SQL Developer doesn't support Postgres database by default, so today we're going to go over how to connect to uh, Postgres. We're just going to kind of go over these three outline steps here. So first, let's just download SQL Developer. There. Download. And download the one that you need. And then uh, the accounts are free, so just uh, if you don't have one, you can create one. And so once you log in, it'll download it. And so uh, with that zip file you download, I'm just going to stick it in the C drive. While that's extracting, let's just go down and uh, download the Postgres uh, ODB C driver. Alright, so for the driver, uh, I'll post the link in the uh, description, but you just go into the JDBC Postgres SQL uh, site. And then uh, I'm just going to download the latest Java 8, but if you need a different version, go for that. So after that Postgres uh, JDBC is downloaded and you have the SQL developer unzipped, what we're going to do is just copy this jar file or even just move it uh, into the SQL developer folder just so we can have it on a spot where we're not going to accidentally delete it when we're just cleaning up the uh, downloads folder. Okay, so with that said, let's go into the SQL developer folder and run the application. Okay, so we're in SQL Developer, and you can see here when we try to add a new connection, we just see Oracle as a database type, uh, and there's no like Postgres option there. Let's go to Tools, Preferences, and then within the Database section here, if we expand that, you'll see a third-party JWBC drivers. So in here, we're going to hit Add Entry from in here, and then what you want to do is just click, double-click on that jar file. So then what you see on the, the list here is like the full name of that jar file. And then you can hit OK. When you come back into the connection, you'll see that Postgres is now available.